Student, today we are going to prove time is equal to resistance into capacitance. Time is equal to the product of resistance into capacitance. This is a unit we are going to check, we are going to prove, okay. So, the first is time. Time unit we know second. So, the same thing resistance according to the Ohm's law, uh, it is V is equal to IR. So, R is equal to V by I. So, resistance unit we, we can get as the uh, it is a uh, ohms ohms is equal to volt by ampere so i got what is the ohms ohms is equal to volt by ampere so capacitance so voltage is directly proportional to the charge when we are removing the directly proportional we will get the constant v is equal to c times of q so it is c is equal to q divided by v so now we got it is a uh, ohms is a uh, volt by ampere here coulombs we can call it is a farad so farad is equal to coulombs divided by volt so I got what is R, R is uh, ohms, ohms is equal to V by uh, A. I got what is C, capacitance of capacitor, it is a farad. So it's going to be coulombs divided by uh, volt. This is a unit. Don't take this C, this C, this C is a formula, capacitance of capacitor. This is representing as a charge unit, coulombs. Okay. Now I'm going to substitute both the value in uh, equation 1 and equation 2. Just I'm going to substitute everything here. So R value is uh, ohms capacitance value is a farad so we will get uh, the torque is equal to torque unit the unit of um, time is equal to it is ohms into farad okay the unit of resistance will be ohms um, unit of capacitance will be farad so we have ohms ohms is a volt by ampere and we have farad is a coulombs by volt so volt volt get cancelled that means we will get as a coulombs divided by ampere so what is ampere current flowing uh, current flowing per unit charge so char sorry charge flowing charge flowing per unit time so charge is coulombs time is second so coulombs cool, uh, current is uh, we can take it as a uh, 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulombs by 1 second so 1 coulombs by 1 second coulombs coulombs get cancelled this denominator denominator directly will go into the numerator so it's going to be the second so we'll get as uh, this uh, it's a uh, uh, this product R and C product will get as the time. So this symbol torque also is going to represent as the average time. Thank you for watching my, my video. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you everyone.